Hello everyone, welcome to AI Anytime channel. In this video, we are going to explore Reader API and also going to build an on-device LLM application. Already have covered Reader by Gina AI in my previous video. Now I'll show that, I'll show my previous videos and also the other dependent videos that probably you will require for this video as well. So what we are going to develop in this is an on-device LLM application. What do you mean by that? Now, if you use any closed source model today, you will probably be sending your prompt data, whatever you know, system you are building to them. Okay, and uh, and that's a big risk if you are you know working for a very sensitive industry domain or whatever. If your data is really confidential, most of the time, what happens, right? Uh, you know, in some industries, uh, clients wants to do everything in their side, which is on the client side. So probably you don't need a, you know, you don't need to send your data to any API, uh, third party APIs provider or something like that. So what we're gonna do this uh, today in this video is we're gonna build this on-device LLM application where we are going to use an open source LLM, which is Gemma 2B in a TensorFlow Lite version. So we can run that in a Chrome browser itself. So we are not going to send our data to any server. We are going to run everything in the Chrome browser itself, we are going to leverage Web GPU, which is a succeeder to Web GL. You know, so Chrome and all the recent GPUs that you see have GPU, uh, not recent GPU, the recent browsers have GPU embedded into it, and that's what we're going to use. So, on device LLM application, the flow will be that will use Gina Reader API, which is also open source, commercially available Apache 2.0 license, so you can use it for free. Now imagine if you want to fetch data from a website and want to generate summary or ask questions or retrieve information, everything in, the, in that Chrome browser. No, your data doesn't get leaked out, you are not hitting any server, in that case, you know, like, uh, Azure Open AI or anything like that. That's the that's the goal, guys. Now, if you look at here on my screen currently, I have Reader. I already have shown about Reader and also uh, how to set up on-device LLM. So I'm not going to talk about those things. You have to watch only two videos before this. One is this. That's called. I just I just posted it an hour ago on my channel. That's called Gina Reader API. Build better AI agents and rack systems with Reader. If you don't know what reader is, reader says convert any URL. You have imagine you have an URL. You can convert any URL to an LLM friendly input with a simple prefix. Now, for example, if you want to, you know, build a summarization or a conversational system on Langchain documentation or Hugging Face documentation or Wikipedia pages or Reddit pages, give the URL as a prefix with this URL here. And that's it. You will be able to fetch the data. Once you are able to fetch the data, you can then. And when you when you are able to fetch the data in a format that LLM entertains that. So LLM, the biggest problem with large language models are they have a they have a tendency of garbage garbage in garbage out. So if your data is of not of good quality, your output will also not be of good quality. Whatever you use, okay, if and most of the problem we have seen with RAG, okay, the vector databases are not that good in today's world guys there's, there's no doubt about it but eventually they will become good all of those uj's approximate nearest neighbors algorithms and the research is ongoing now here it says reader convert any url to an llm friendly input watch this video to understand how you can fetch you know uh data from any website in a format that llm accepts that okay and once you do that you then have to watch this video which says on device LLM, open source LLM, 600 tokens per second media pipe. So media pipe is a Google product. They recently came up with, you know, TensorFlow Lite support for different LLMs like, you know, uh, Gemma models or Falcon models and whatnot. Okay. Now this is what, this is what I have developed. You can see it says URL to fetch. I have clicked on state of the AI fetch data. Once you fetch data, I'm just saying, please summarize the above content. And then I'm getting the, so this field will get populated. Once you click on fetch data, it will take a few seconds to, depending on how big the website size is and how many, how much content are there in the website. This, this input field will get populated. And then you write, please summarize the above content. Now, once you click on, please summarize the above content. And when you click get response, you can see it gives you, here is a summary of the content. The state of the AI report 2023, the comprehensive analysis of the state of artificial intelligence, blah, blah, blah. And you can see this has been refreshed because I just click on. Now, let me ask again. 
summarize the above content and once you click on get response you, know, you can see it's streaming response so the model will start you know generating output basically it summarizes you can see it says see over here is the summary of the above content the state of the ai report 2023 the comprehensive analysis of the state of ai blah 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 it covers a range of key dimensions and things like that now this is great now let me ask some questions okay you can also ask some questions let me see that How much? Let me ask the question. So summary is fine. So summary is working fine. How much money has been raised from Gen AI applications? And let me ask based on the context, based on the above context how much money and I'm asking this question let's see if you're able to get the answer but the summary works fine guys so if you're building a summarized app summarization app and you can see the output fantastic it says according to the text AI startups focused on generative AI applications including video text and coding raised over 18 18 billion dollar from VC and corporate investors this is fantastic now we what we are doing we are trying to ground you know a rack system within the Chrome browser itself guys so imagine if you you, you want to build a chat with your website chat with github you want to build a rack system or external rack system you know in the in the chrome browser itself or any browser which supports web gpu you will be able to do this with this guys you know i'm really impressed with this let me tell you how i build that okay now these are the two prerequisite on device llm and gina reader api and you can see this is the website that we have we are fetching it the data from you can see it's re everything is happening in real time i'm not doing any hard coding any stuff you can see url to fetch www state of the ai and i'm clicking on fetch data you can put some loaders and stuff i'm not a web developer by the way once you click on fetch data this field will get populated and you can keep on asking questions over here you can have a chatbot kind of a thing you can store this in a better way and stuff now this is great now if you look at how i'm doing it there are two files that you need basically the three files you can do it in two files as well but i have three files one is a gemma 2b instruction tuned 4-bit quantized model you can see it says gemma 2b it gpu in 4 bin you can download this model i'll give the link in description or if you can watch my previous video on device llm everything has been set up how to run uh an llm in browser in android devices ios and blah 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 so you can download that model and then you need two file index html index js now if you look at in index html i'll explain that quickly i'm using bootstrap 5.3 to design a bit you know on the input and stuff you can see the cdn has been loaded over here now after that i have some styles you know just to make some buttons you know a padding and stuff margin and then i have a container now this is running inside a container you can see this is on a, on a container thingy okay now when the container is done i have an input i have an in i have a title then i have a input box url to fetch and then i'll explain about this id fetch what does what does that id fetch means here then i have a you know button fetch and then again i have an input where the fields get populated where you can also type your questions or tasks that you have and then you get a result that's from an ui standpoint then i'm using a script part because i have to load the index js and you can see this is what you know i'm defining over here which is module index js now in index.js every, every the all the magics happen if you look at i'm using cdn content delivery network because the model media pipe that has have been hosted over somewhere whatever they used you know so you can see it over here llm inference all the code have been hosted okay in this cdn somewhere now you can see i'm just loading it through from there media pipe and you can find out tasks gen ai then i have all the inputs input output submit and then i have a fetch button that looks at once you click on that and then i'm passing the model name and i'm saying all the codes have commented it you can see display newly generated partial result to the output so the first one when you fetch it this piece will take it from there okay and then you can see fetches data from the input url and this is how we are fetching it now this logic i have seen in a previous video in python but here i converted that into vanilla javascript you can see it says document dot get element by id url input so the input that you give in the input box that's the input that it will fetch from here the code and then this is the 
base endpoint by Gina and then you append with your endpoint. So you can see what we are doing here with the full URL. We are saying use the base URL and then again append that with URL input by the end user. So I am putting state of AI. So I'm just putting it over there. And then I have some headers just to handle that because it, it, because it also streams the responses. So I'm handling event stream. And then I'm using a try catch. You can see if all the ref, uh, data have been fetched, then it's inside try. Otherwise, it will throw some error and blah, blah, blah. And then I'm using that fetch button. If you look at over here, this is where it has been defined. Fetch button on click. So this is what I'm doing. And then the main function to run LLM. So it runs inside an async because you've been asking again and again parallelly also. Now run demo gen AI file set again using the content delivery network from media pipe. You can see it over here. And then I'm using again submit on click. And then I'm writing max tokens. You can increase depending on what model you use. So if you are getting errors like, okay, if the website has a lot of content, right? So it will throw an error. Then you have to handle this max tokens, guys. And then just I'm using that. This is how I've defined it. And you can see the uh, see the magic over here uh, on device LLM app. You are able to fetch instead of AI fetch data. And you get the first you get the response uh, from that reader API by Gina which basically has ability to pull any data from URL from any URL and then also in a structured format. You can see it's a markdown format. You can parse this in a better way, guys. You know, I haven't, I'm not parsing it, but you can parse it. And then you click on get response and you can find out the output. Now you can ask different types of questions here. Okay, uh, key themes in 2023 report. Let me ask the questions here. What are the key themes? Just to show you that it works. What are the key themes in 2023? And let me just ask quickly. Sometimes it might not, you know, it might throw in a wrong responses, a bit hallucinations because it's a 2B IT model, but least I you know, bother about it because you can find out the output, which is fantastic. It says, according to the text, the key themes in 2023 are GPT-4 is the master of all its service for now. Efforts are growing, blah, blah, blah. AI status focused on generative AI applications raised over 18 billion. The safety debate has exploded into the mainstream. Fantastic, you know, I loved it guys uh, to be honest everything on device nothing is hitting any API endpoint like open AI Azure cloud or you know You're not going into your cloud pulling it in nothing is happening like that Okay, and everything is happening within Chrome with just two lines of two, two files over here. You can see all together it will be around You know around 150 lines of code guys 150 lines of code and you build an on-device LLM applications to perform tasks like summarizations information retrieval and things like that Don't forget to watch this video. This is the video that I posted two weeks ago on device LLM inference This is really this is going to be helpful for you if you are interested in this You should watch this to understand how you can set it up in Android and web and then this one that I posted recently This is the first part of it, you know on the Gina part. That's all for this video guys. You know, I hope you uh, and I'll give the of course I'll give this web, like this applications code in github repository feel free to you know clone fork whatever and extend this further let me know your thoughts uh, feedbacks if you have any questions in the comment box you can also reach out to me through my social media channels find those information on channel banner and channel about us if you like the content time creating please hit the like icon and if you haven't subscribed the channel yet, please do subscribe the channel guys. That motivates me to create more such videos in your future. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one.